Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am finally here with my winter add-on, winter 2019 add-on sale tips and tricks video. I'm sorry, it's taken me a little time to get this video going. My parents were visiting this weekend and I chose to spend time with them. Um, and so now I am finally doing it. Also with the shorter shopping window, I have even less time to get these videos up. I try to do research for two or three days so I can be really thorough about it and then tell you as much as I possibly can. I did get a chance to do some research, so I have learned and, and I will deliver. So we're going to get into this. If you're new to my channel, every sale I do a video like this where I record my computer screen and I talk about mainly what I try to do is I talk about my tips and tricks that I use to pare down my cart because I know what it's like to have hundreds of dollars of goodies in my cart and I don't know how to just eliminate them. It helps also sometimes for me to have my husband look at it and him he'll just be like, oh, we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. And it's really, really helpful. Anyway, so uh, I record my computer screen. I talk about my tips and tricks that I use to help pare down my cart. And then I go through the entire sale. I talk about tips and tricks to navigate the sale. And I talk about as much as I possibly can that I've learned about every single product. So if you are interested, keep watching. I will get into that right now. Okay, so here we are in my computer screen. I'm going to first go over the three things that I do to decide if I am wanting to purchase a product that I am interested in. I check, oops, uh, update later, please. Okay, I check to see if a product is cruelty-free. I'm cruelty-free. You could take that a step further and check to see if it's vegan. I will show you how I do that. And let's just do that first. I will do it one thing at a time. So let's just say I'm interested in purchasing, say, this Laura Geller Easy Illuminating Stick. So I will click and I will highlight Laura Geller and I go over to my favorite favorite cruelty free reference guide it's cruelty-free-kitty.com so that's right here cruelty-free-kitty.com and this is a website it's a really robust blog site that is managed by an amazing woman I'm blanking on her name um, <laughs> let's see if her name's at the bottom uh, I'm blanking on her name right now but it's managed by an amazing woman who is an activist for cruelty-free, not involving animal testing in the cosmetics industry. So we're going to put on, okay, so directly on their homepage, there is a search box if you scroll down just a little bit and you can put in a brand right here. And okay, so she pops up. Laura Geller is cruelty free. But then for me, I take it a step f further because sometimes a company is cruelty free, but they're owned by a parent company that is not cruelty free. So if you scroll down a little bit further, there is more information. So you can decide how strict you want to get with yourself if you choose to use this as a way to eliminate items from your cart. So here you can see parent company. It's not owned by a parent company that tests on animals. So an example of of that is uh, Kate Somerville. Kate Somerville is cruelty free but is owned by Estee Lauder and Estee Lauder is not cruelty free so I don't purchase Kate Somerville so that would be an example but here you can also see they um, not always but oftentimes there's also a note about whether or not the products are vegan so you can see that if you want to purchase vegan products Laura, Laura Geller is not 100% vegan so you would have to get a list of their vegan products um, so that's one thing that I do to eliminate things from my car if they are not cruelty free to a standard that I've set for myself I delete it Another thing that I do, so I'm going to close this cruelty-free kitty site. Another thing that I do is I look at ingredients. There are a, a handful of ingredients that I have decided I would like to steer clear from. That is mainly parabens and formaldehyde releasers and... That's actually mostly it for me. There are a lot of other things that um, are questionable in our <laughs> beauty products. So. Um, this is a wonderful website to help you determine which ingredients you would like to avoid for yourself. It is called Skin Charisma, skincharisma.com. Here is the URL. I will put the links in the description box as well. The neat thing about this website is that you can uh, also create yourself an account so you can have the website 
kind of remember ingredients that you don't want to be using and it will become smarter and more tailored for you. Um, so we're going to go to right here there's a cosmetic analyzer link and you go here and it brings up this little text box and you can copy and paste ingredients from a product into this text box and then analyze that product so we're gonna go over back to the add-on sale and you know what we're just gonna do this same product this Laura Geller no let's choose actually like um, uh, Let's choose a cleanser. I wanted to choose something that was more like liquidy, like cleanser or moisturizer or hair care or something like that than just makeup. Um, okay, so we're going to copy and paste these ingredients. Something else I've actually kind of noticed in the sale is there, in all of their sales, there can be errors in the description boxes in their sales site. So if you see something that looks funny, it's probably because it's not right. <laughs> um, it's a little frustrating sometimes, but that does happen. So be on your toes for something like that happening in the sales. So I just copied those ingredients. I'm gonna go back to skincharisma.com and I had gone to the cosmetic analyzer and I'm gonna copy and paste those ingredients into this text box and hit analyze product and it thinks for a moment and then it comes up with this list right here so you can see it um, breaks it down into dry skin oily acne prone and sensitive it breaks it down into what might not be good so there's no alarm here for dry skin there's something that might not be so good for oily acne prune skin there's something that might, need, might not be so good for sensitive skin most people most products have things that aren't so good for sensitive skin I, I, I feel <laughs> feel for people with sensitive skin there are a lot of irritants in our products so this is an overall breakdown right here and then you go down here and it gets even more detailed so it gives you uh, let's see what the bad oh, fragrance fragrance is always rated really really poorly uh, and that is because they don't need to tell us what is in the fragrant component so there's um, oh gosh there's a movie that a YouTube friend of mine she has her own channel too Pat, Pat she just changed the name though Patty Patty, uh, Patty's unboxings and stuff, I think is what she changed it to. Go, ch I'll try to remember to link her channel below. You can go show her some support and love. But she mentioned in a comment to me that there's a documentary about fragrance in the beauty industry that's kind of depressing. <laughs> so I haven't seen it yet, but I would definitely like to seek it out and, and, um, watch it for myself uh, anyway back to this so it gives you two ratings and then one is the EWG rating and one is the CIR rating now this EWG is the environmental working group they have their own website and their cosmetic uh, website is EWG.org slash skin deep and so here's the URL I will link it below and then the other rating it provides is from the cosmic, is from the CIR, which is right here in this column on Skin Charisma, and that is the Cosmetic Ingredient Review. And here is their website. So you can go and you can explore their websites. When I look up ingredients, oftentimes if there's a new ingredient that is flagged on here and I haven't heard of it, that's when I kind of do a Google search or I search on these other websites specific information about that specific ingredient and I dig a little further outside of here I there might be you know what there might be a component of the skin charisma site that also tells you more information I honestly haven't found it yet but that's not because I that's because I didn't really look to be honest so that's how you can get started learning about ingredients for yourself I have now gotten to a point where I can kind of eyeball an ingredients list and I can know for myself whether or not I'm okay with using it so and then the third and last thing that I generally do is I will go to the company's website and I will read their about page and if I feel connected, if I feel, if, if they sell it to me basically, if they can sell it to me, then I will probably buy it. If it passes all three of those things, the cruelty free test, the ingredients test, and their website speaks to me, then I will probably buy something that I am highly interested in. So those are the ways that I uh, 
pare down my cart. Now, I wanted to also do go over a few tricks on how to navigate the sale before I start talking about how what I have learned about the products that are available. So, I have a bunch of tabs here open. So, I follow I go to the community page which you can find through the FabFitFun website. There's this community uh, link right here. You go there and it looks like this. And this is where FabFitFun themselves will post all kinds of updates that I really think that we should get as customers an email blast to all of us. And I don't know why they don't do it, but there's a lot of information, important information that gets posted within this forum from FabFitFun. There are also a ton of really fun threads to join, especially during the sales. And I have been following, let's see, I've been following this one. So they do this every sales. FabFitFun, a staff member, initiates a thread called your questions answered for whatever sale they are doing at that time. So right now it's winter add-on sale, your questions answered. I have to say, um, there's a new person answering and they're not nearly as responsive as the last person. So that's a little interesting. You know, new we've all started new jobs and learning them is hard. So that's probably part of it. But Regardless, there are a ton of amazing community members that are on this thread that are trying to answer each other's and figure each other's questions and figure everything out anyway. So it is a worthwhile thread to read still, but it is a little bit strange that the FabFitFun staff aren't being a little bit more responsive this time. And you can see FabFitFun responses are flagged with a little pink icon, and I'm just not seeing any pink icons as I scroll through. It's kind of like, where are they? <laughs> uh, all weekend, all weekend, I didn't see anything from them. So that's one thread that you can follow. I'm also uh, following this one, and this is uh, mostly all community members just talking about the products available in the sale, and you can really have some fun, fun conversations also with some of the other uh, members of FabFitFun. So I'm also following this one. This is Winter Add-ons, This or That, Carts and Product Reviews. That's the name of it. It's right here on the top. Now, something I just noticed while I was preparing to film this is this thread. So this is uh, an example. I was just talking about how FabFitFun will do all of these important updates through the community forum, and they won't email us, but we have to be in the community forum to find this information. So this one's interesting. They increased the max quantities we can get for certain products. So it says, as you all know, traditionally we have allowed three max units per product per cart. However, we know you are all stocking up on gifts for winter, so as a special treat, we are increasing to five max units per product per cart on selected products. So. This is the list of selected products. That's a long list, so it sounds like most of them. Uh, anyway, so that I just discovered that. So you can get five of certain things. A lot of things you can get five. I will link. I will link the. Um, I will link all of these threads in the description box below as well. Now I am going to head over to the actual sale pages. So the. Um, Sale. I wanted to mention a couple of things to a couple of tips for navigating the actual sale. So I'm going to close these tabs so I don't get confused. Okay. Now, there is something that people talk about where it's like, you know, refresh for a product that is out of stock. And that confused me when I was a new member. Uh, I remember going in and there would be product that I wanted and it would stink because they would be out of stock. And I would think that I would have to go and just scroll through all of the items like this to see if I could get to that product to see if it happened to be available. Well, now, so what people were doing is that they were... Instead of doing that, you can hit this little heart 
right here to favorite the item and then you can go over to the my favorites tab right here so I have that open here this is my my favorites tab and I happen to I hearted a few things so we can hopefully see what I'm talking about in action so if you heart it you have a much shorter list that pops up when you go over to the my favorites tab to see if it's available for you to snag that's a super important tip that I wish I had known I don't think I figured it out for I think three sales in and uh, yeah so if you hit my favorites you will see now this is available this bundle silky soft hands bundle there are a bunch down here that aren't aren't in stock and so there will be if you have time for it some people just really don't have time to sit at their computer for 10 minutes and just hit refresh on their my favorites over and over again but that's basically what you do you, I'm just hitting my favorites over and over and you can hope that the product that you're looking for pops up as available I actually I came online I had been waiting for the corksicle and I did it for about 90 seconds and I was able to snag the corksicle which I hadn't been able to so it works it helps and it will be your best friend now another thing that you could check if you are on the fence about getting something you can check this little last call area and this will show you the products that they won't it's not that they won't appear in a future sale but they are less likely to be in a in a sale anytime in the near future i have seen things in last call show up in the next sale so it's not a kind of a tried and true way to do it but if you are super on the fence about getting something you can check the last call and if it's listed here you might want to just go ahead and grab it um so that's another tip now I am going to get into showing you what's in my cart and talking about the products that are available. So this is my cart as it is now. It is my not final cart. <laughs> This is how much it costs, $288. Now, my last paid for box was the fall 2019 box. So I am going to also get paid for my, I mean, get billed for my annual renewal in this sale. So this is basically $288 plus $180 for my annual membership. So I need to get this down. I would like to get it down as much as I possibly can. This is tough. See, so I have all of these ways that I, um, that I, uh, pare down my cart and I still have trouble <laughs> but I think that I, I'm hoping to get it down to 200 and then I'll have my uh, annual renewal at 380 total for the payment for this time around uh, so this is what it is I probably won't get this juice beauty this has wonderful reviews lots and lots of wonderful reviews though on Sephora juice beauty is cruelty free non-toxic all those wonderful things I have wanted to fall in love with their stuff not a lot of their stuff has great reviews but but this one this particular product does I am well stocked on moisturizer though I do not need a moisturizer so I might as well delete that I I do like a lot of Ahava products and I need a backup foot cream so I am anticipating that this one is good I did look up reviews and they looked great as well people are really excited about this new hip freck line of uh, products and they do have uh, not a whole lot of reviews but the reviews on their website are good um, I would say about four a little over four stars or four and a half stars on a lot of their products I could use a backup eye cream so I thought I would give this one a try it's also a great discount 75 percent so I We'll probably get that one. I love Marrakesh. They are um, by Earthly Body is their company that makes the Marrakesh line of products. I love this stuff. I don't love using it on my dry hair to touch it up. The smell is too strong, but I love using it on my wet hair as um, a defining treatment for my curls. Uh, it's great. It's great stuff. I did also, I caught a bottle of that in the last box I think too so I'll have two it's only five dollars though so that's great that's also another thing that gets me though when I say it's only five dollars but I have like ten things that are only five dollars that's fifty dollars um, this fat by boy tacky tacky oil I'm really curious about it I did watch some YouTube videos let's see if we can 
find that if you're interested. I saw, I saw a YouTube video where a girl used it to curl her hair and I thought it looked like it worked really well for that. So I'm going to bring that up for you. Let's skip to where she's actually doing it. Okay, there we go. So you see there she used the fat boy tacky oil to curl her hair and I do like the shine that I gave her hair. So I'm probably going to get this. I also I'm trying to help my husband find um, a hair product that he likes because the one we both loved was discontinued and uh, he's I'm letting him nurse the rest of what we have and I'm I've found other products but anyway also this is another one that has surprisingly good reviews a handful not a whole lot but surprisingly good reviews um, I say surprisingly because they had a hair mask that was available that had okay reviews it was available uh, for a couple of sales um, I was surprised I was surprised to see that this one was a pretty well loved um, styling cream basically and styling creams work wonderfully in wavy or curly hair if you didn't know that styling creams are really good products if it's a good styling cream of course so this is really good for wavy curly hair like mine I am getting this because I love this skin essence I love this skin essence I bought a 10 ounce bottle a few sales back and I still have just a little less than half left of it it's a very simple very straightforward hyaluronic skin essence and I just love it it's unscented anyway I will <laughs> yeah I, I'm so very excited to see it again um, I'm don't really care to have the other things actually I don't know I, I would imagine that they're both they're they're all really good but I am very excited to see the Hyaluron the hand skin uh, skin essence available so I'm gonna be getting that I've been wanting to get these Wander Beauty sets. I passed it up in the last couple of sales there are two available there's this one and then another one and I am I'm looking forward to just having a whole bunch of little samplers of their stuff to try. I got a Wander Beauty lip color in a Tri Beauty box that I think is really beautiful and it wears really well. Um, so here's their other one. I am going to get that one too. I these London Town nail polishes. Now I love having my nails painted and having them manicured. I am pregnant right now and my husband has asked me not to use nail polish and he doesn't believe me that there are some that are non-toxic and safe to use during pregnancy because not because nail polish is fairly toxic. There is um this London Town brand does claim to not use a few of the really toxic ingredients, so Perhaps I can get him to say <laughs> that it's okay. He's just, he's asked me to. Of course I could do it, but he's asked me nicely not to paint my nails while I'm pregnant, so that's okay. But anyway, regardless, I've heard good things about this London Town um, stuff, mainly from somebody I follow on YouTube. Tam her name's Tam Tammy's Ageless Beauty, and I really like her. They have sent her their nail polishes in PR, and she's talked about them several times on her channel. So that means that she genuinely does really like them. And I also really love having a nude, clean look. So there's this perfect set from London Town um, of nudes. This is, I'm very excited to try their stuff finally. So I have been striking out on cleansers, and I have used this cleanser, and it is very mild, very, a little bit unimpressive but in a good way because it's unscented it's mild it barely lathers which I actually really like uh, non lathering cleansers it barely lathers it doesn't dry out your skin so I mean it's unimpressive in that it's just it feels so kind of innocuous just it but it works anyway so it's a great price five dollars I'm striking out with cleansers now and I'm thinking maybe I just need to get two of these so I have two in my cart now as far as ingredients are concerned some people I haven't 
I'm still on the fence about the, this ingredient, pegs. So some people say that they are really harmful and we shouldn't use them. Some people say that that's unfounded and not true in the way it's used in skincare and hair care. And it is in so much stuff. It's in so much stuff from moisturizers to cosmetics to cleansers. Anyway, it's in so much stuff. And it's, it stands for polyethylene glycol. Now that I'm pregnant, the funny thing that I found was it's recommended that I take Miralax for constipation, which is a thing in pregnancy, and the active ingredient, it, it, ingredient in it is polyethylene glycol. My doctor recommends that I take polyethylene glycol. So that was a really surprising thing to see, especially with all this controversy about this particular ingredient. I, I still have not decided to eliminate it from my skincare and hair care, and obviously I am going to be getting this, so I don't foresee doing that in the future. Anyway, I just wanted to say a little bit about that. Now, this, I... Um, I think that this is a little bit of a placebo, and the website, their website doesn't kind of like outrightly admit that, but they do say, and they have a list of reasons about why it works, and one of them is that there are some of the ingredients in it that are maybe, they don't say appetite process, pr uh, suppressants, but they do say some of the ingredients will deter you from eating, essentially. And then another thing they say is that it is, it's about the practice of Noticing you want a snack and then having a replacement uh, habit for the snacking, which is to have some water and put on some of this lip gloss and then don't snack. So I actually could see that being quite effective is just replacing the urge to snack and just giving in right away with a very mindful practice of doing something else. Um, well, and then in that case, you really don't need this particular <laughs> chapstick or lip balm or lip moisturizer. But there were reviews on the site that said the lip moisturizer was quite nice as well. I don't know if I'm going to get it, but I might try replacing the urge to snack with water and uh, chapstick. <laughs> that might happen. I think that this is just an amazing price for a moleskin, leather moleskin notebook. I might give this to my husband for Christmas. Um, now here, these are the out-of-stock items in my cart. I am fascinated by this Mega Mystery Bundle. I don't know if I'm going to get it. It would cut my cart down so much if I just didn't, but oh my gosh, am I curious. So I don't know if I'm going to get it, but we'll see. Uh, this uh, people love this moisturizer. So if you want, if you need a, an affordable moisturizer, I have not heard, seen anyone on the forum say anything bad about it. People love it. So it's uh, straight. I, and the reason that I remember people saying that they love it was that it was just kind of a straightforward moisturizer. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't too heavy, not too light. It didn't smell too bad. It, it didn't have a strong scent at all. So yeah, so I think that if you need a moisturizer, this one's $9. This is a pretty good score. I have just heard good things about the r Co. Acid Wash. I have the DP Hue one in my shower right now, and they're fine. My, I, I'm going to give this one a try, I think. it's a, They're fine. It's fine. Let's see. This one might have... Let's see if this one has a um, formaldehyde releaser, because after I bought the DP Hue one... I kind of was confused at first, but then I, I was able to confirm that the DP Hue one does have a formaldehyde releaser. This one doesn't have, appear to have a formaldehyde releaser in it, so I am going to likely try it. Yeah, I don't see one. Um, yeah, so uh, they it's a great replacement for shampoo and, yeah, anyway, um, the... This, I think, looks great. I want to keep this at work and try to make a habit of filling this in every morning, just just sitting down and filling in all the, these fields. I think it would be really helpful. Um, anyway, I like the idea of this, so I'm going to get that. And then here's the corksicle. I had a swell. I had a large swell bottle from a cause box, and it started to leak recently, so I wanted to get the corksicle. Okay, so that's what my cart looks like right now. 
I'm hoping to get it down to 200 and a quick fix for that would be just to eliminate the mega mystery bundle. But oh my gosh, I'm so curious about what's in it. Okay, so now, now I'm going to run through the sale. Like I said, my parents were in town this weekend, so I didn't research quite as thoroughly as I usually do, but I did do research. So I'm going to go through and tell you what I can about all of the items. If you are new, these bundles are a wonderful way to get a little bit more of a deal if you do want every single thing that's in the bundle. If you don't want every single thing that's in the bundle, then you might as well just buy the other things individually. But they are great. So so I'm going to just skip past the bundles and talk about those things as I get to them in their individual listings. I don't know. And if I don't know anything about it, I'm just going to breeze over it and say I don't know anything about this. I don't know anything about the leg legacy boxes. Um, I don't know anything about this yoga mat. I did buy some exercise bands from this brand, Magi. I haven't used them, but I remember when I first opened them, I thought they felt pretty thin, like fruit roll-ups, but maybe that's just because the weight on them isn't very heavy. Um, you can look up, so, <coughs> excuse me, FabFitFun uses the word refreshed instead of refurbished. So a lot of the electronics are refurbished, so be careful about that. Um, I have seen some uh, YouTubers, like the um, the YouTubers who are doing like age, Ageless Beauty, they have been sent this product and they do reviews on it. So you can find YouTube reviews on these kinds of devices. Um, and I remember some of them seem to like this, that like seem to like it, excuse me. Um, so the Laura Geller products, people were excited to see it in the sale. I'm not getting any because I see Laura Geller all the time at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but I have been, it's been nice to actually see some people talking about it being a good line of products because I've always wondered when I see them there <laughs> if it's something that I should get. <clears throat> now I know. So I see I see their stuff there all the time. If you don't, though, people are saying good things about the line of products. So I'm just going to skip past all the Laurel Geller products. That's my thoughts on there. I couldn't find much on Paracone MD. I did see a couple of people excited to see their products in the sale that they've said it on the forum. And I have seen a few good reviews. I think that they're newer up and coming. Here, I'll show you what I do when I go to a website to learn more about the company. I will go to the company and then usually there's an about page or something. I didn't see a whole lot of reviews on some of this stuff either. And then I'll read their about and if I like what I see on their about page, if they, they, if it feels good after reading this, then I will move forward with buying it. But I want to see when this company was founded in '97. In '98, it's been around a while. It's been around a while. Some of these products on this website, on I mean, in these sales, are like newly founded uh, lines, like 2015, 2016. Anyway, I don't have much else to say about Paracone. I thought this was kind of interesting to see. I went into my dermatologist and I asked her about using hydroquinone on my dark spots on my chest. I had the Murad uh, Lightning product and she said this might work and then she recommended actually light the light treatment, but she didn't say that there were devices you could get at home that you actually People pay a lot of money to go in and get this light treatment. So I thought that this was kind of interesting. This one is particularly for wrinkles, though, not the dark spots. Um, I wonder, is this one is this one refreshed? Refreshed. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't say so. Now I lost my place. There, there we are. Um, so I thought that was kind of neat. Leave a comment, and please leave a comment below about anything that I say. Feel free to disagree. I'm not the end-all, be-all expert. I am just reporting back to you what I remember seeing from other people, other people's comments online. So please feel free to start a conversation below. I would love to hear your thoughts on these products as well. Um, 
So, um, Becca, this lip gloss has tons of good reviews. I just, I don't need more lip glosses. I saw a Becca product. Oh, and this, um, this lipstick has good reviews too on Sephora Ulta, whichever one it was available on. Um, I, I saw a Becca product at Costco recently. That was pretty neat to see. Milk, the milk makeup products, I see that there seems to be just two different groups of people, people who love milk products and people who don't. It, it, kind of split down the middle. I've seen some people say, I hated it. I gave it to my niece as, as play makeup and some people swear by it. I, I, it, I'd be really torn. I don't wear a lot of foundation type makeup, which is a lot of what their products seem to be. So I'm not, I'm not torn about getting any of it because of that, but it's, I'd be torn if I, if I did wear that kind of makeup. Uh, regularly. Um, I do get ready with me's on my YouTube channel and that's when I um, go, I, I do a deep dive on where I, I wear the whole whole gamut of makeup. I talked about the Juice Beauty um, moisturizer. I didn't look up reviews on these particular products, but do look up reviews on them if you're considering getting them because not everyone loves all of Juice Beauty products. Some of them only have like four star or less reviews, so definitely look up reviews. Dermalect, I have seen Dermalect products. I got their nut cream and it was effective. Um, if you are interested in a Dermalect product, do check the ingredients because I think I remembered after the fact that learning that the nut cream I had been using had formaldehyde release and releasers and parabens. So they were a little shameless in their ingredients for that particular product. Um, but I do know that from what I see from their products, people have used them. They're effective. They are effective. So if you're if you're looking to get one of their products and you have the money, you could give it a try. I haven't used anything other than that nut cream, and I feel like I noticed a difference, a huge difference, and it was amazing. Um, okay, so Tarte. Tarte, I stopped considering getting Tarte because they are owned by a parent company that does tests on animals. I believe it's a company called Coase or something, K-O-S-E. I may not be remembering that correctly, um, but yeah, I think that that's right, and I've never heard of Coase before, but they are owned by a parent company that tests on animals, so I no longer consider their products, but I do think that they have a nice line of products. Um, this is a line that I couldn't find the product on their website. I couldn't find any, any reviews on this. It is a line that looks like it's available now at Target. Um, you can check out their website. It looks kind of like a mid-range product. I, that's all I can say. Oh, this Cat Berkey line. I am quite curious, and in fact, I had this cleanser in my cart because I'd mentioned I'd been striking out on cleansers, and then I decided I didn't need to buy another mystery cleanser. I just need to get something that I like because I don't have one that I enjoy using right now. But this Kat Berkey line, check out her website. She's got solid, good reviews on her products. So if you're looking for higher-end products, I, I'd be curious to try something. Um, Ahava, Ahava, they make, they make good stuff. So I have their hand cream. I have this, I found it at Ross actually, and I found a two pack of, let's see, this one's five ounces. I found a two pack of each was 3.4 ounces and it was like $5. I found it at Ross. Um, it's a, it's a scent that I like now. I didn't like it at first. I found it a little bit too strong, but, um, I do enjoy using this hand cream. I'm not getting it because I have one I get from Trader Joe's that I really like anyway, and it's like it's like $5.99. This is uh, repackaged. This we got in our winter 2018 box last year, and it is amazing. I love using this as an overnight mask. You put it on, it doesn't get on your pillow, and my skin feels so soft when I wake up in the morning. I love it. Um, I don't know anything about the other two products available. Here's the Freck uh, line again. I don't, I've never used it, but I already touched on that. Um, this is a wonderful high-end, vegan, organic, sustainable line of products. Um, Oribe. So my experience with Oribe is that I am 
one of the few who did not like their dry shampoo. So I have not been inclined to try anything else by them because their one hit product didn't work for me. It, I've I've talked about this before, and I I'm not this I'm stealing this from somebody else who said it in the forum. But it's like they sent me a can of air. It did nothing. Um, it didn't leave a white cast, but it also didn't take the grease out of my hair. So people love um, these products, the ten degrees ten degrees cooler oils. I got. <laughs> people really love this one, despite the sm fact that it smells god awful. I bought it. I finally, after seeing it in like three or four sales and not getting it because people talked about the smell, smell, I finally was told I needed to get it for the like millionth time and I got it. I can't get past the smell. Smell. Most people say that they the smell doesn't bother them and it's and they're used to it now. I can't get past the smell. I don't I don't like it. This one I've heard doesn't have uh, as much of a smell and it's a little bit lighter. Uh, so this this one might be better. I don't know. I but I am a, again. It's kind of like the Ori Bay dry shampoo. Most people just love their oils, their facial oils. I don't buy Dr. Brandt products because they their uh, their products are tested on animals. Um, Ish is a FabFit Fun line of makeup. I have only heard bad things about it. So and that's kind of. I, I think I've seen one or two people stand up and say, actually, I did get this one product from Ish, and it works pretty well for me. But for the most part, people say their their makeup line is pretty terrible. Here are the Marrakesh products. I do like the Marrakesh products. I haven't used the these. I've only used the one that I showed you that I'm uh, getting that's in my cart. Um, oh, the Daily Concept stuff. Uh, they're great. And I have a dear friend who loves this body wrap. It's one of those towels that has buttons across the top so you can button it and you don't have to worry about your towel falling. Um, so the Daily Concept stuff's fun. I don't, if you are looking at a hair tool and you can't find any reviews or anything about the company, I would recommend just looking elsewhere for a good hair tool. Even Amazon, you can try it out and send it back. Costco, if you're a member, you can buy it and return it. They actually do have some hair tools. They have the T3 Featherweight that's available on the sale. And if you're a member, they have it on sale uh, frequently for $75, which is an amazing price. And I have that one. I will talk about it when we get to it. But generally for hair tools, I would say just just pass it just go go elsewhere unless you feel sure and you have been able to find reviews or talk to somebody who can vouch for that particular line um sponge gels i don't get sponge gels but people love them i people rave about this hair mask you know what? I might toss this in my cart <laughs> people rave about this hair mask i've used their this one their shampoo and conditioner and it was Okay, it was, it smelled a little bit like beachy, like Hawaiian tropics or something like that. Uh, it was a long, long time ago, but I remember like a very subtle coconutty beachiness smell to it, which was pleasant. Um, and it was okay. Like I said, I didn't, I'm not obviously getting it again. So that's how much I liked it. Um, but people, be, people don't rave about this. They rave about their hair mask. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, this is a new product. I've never seen it before from them in a sale, and I haven't seen anyone talk about it. Murad, I don't buy because their products are tested on animals. This uh, Fat Boy line, gosh, uh, I think a musician started this line of products, actually. I thought about trying their styling cream, but I couldn't find very many reviews on it. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty curious about this tacky oil of theirs. I don't have much else to say about it. Uh, again, more styling tools. People like this brush. Uh, People do like this brush. It's got boar bristle as well as plastic bristles. Boar bristle around plastic bristles. So I've, I saw some people talking about how that's it's good for volume on the forum. More more um, uh, styling tools. I don't know if these will have reviews. I haven't looked into it. But if you can't find any reviews, I you can't return with these FabFitFun sales. You can't return things. So try to try to find yourself one that you can return somewhere else. If it doesn't work out for you, I would say. Uh, here's the furter stuff. I 
I mentioned there was a hair mask that was not well loved available from them in pre prior sales, but this one had some decent reviews. I talked about this. Here's the Rodeo products. I have been wanting to try a Rodeo and I, oh, I, I should show you my customizations too. I'll show you my customizations. Um, after this, I will go ahead and I will show you my customizations. This is always a long video, but I'm told that you guys don't mind, or you ladies don't mind, or you don't mind. <laughs> um, so I, I will keep it up. Anyway, I've been curious about Rodeo products, and I haven't tried one because they're usually pricier. And uh, yeah, people seem to really like them, so I'm going to get the glow drops in the box. Um, R and Co. I have talked about R and Co. before. They have yet to knock my socks off as a line of products, but a lot of people really, really do like R and Co. I, I just, like I said, I have, I have yet. I've tried three things of theirs. I used their moisturizing shampoo and conditioner, which was good, but I didn't like the way it smelled. It was too strong, too perfumed. Absolutely, hands down, too strong, too perfumed. And um, I've tried their scalp scrub, which I've just learned that I just don't like scalp scrubs. And then I tried a gel spray, which was good. I wouldn't say it was fantastically amazing, but it was good. Um, so I'm not getting any of their, well, no, I did have a couple of things, or I have their acid wash in my cart, that's right. So that's the only thing I'm considering getting of theirs. This, I'm, I'm curious, about, I'm curious about every sale, I have it in my cart, and then I just dump it because no one's talking about it. You can check out their website. There are, there are some reviews, handful of reviews. I, but I, yeah, anyway. Mad skincare. I think I saw a couple people say that they had gotten some things from this line and they really, really liked it. I, I, for me, what the deal breaker was, was I couldn't find if they were cruelty free. And I went to their website and I didn't get a feeling like I connected with a company from visiting their website. That's why I am not getting anything from them. Um, Kate Somerville is owned by Estee Lauder, so I don't purchase any of her products, but people love her products. And also the goat milk moisturizer on the forum. I've seen a lot of people ask which moisturizer they should get from the sale or should they just get the Kate Somerville from the box. And most people are hands down saying just get the Kate Somerville goat milk goat milk from the box. It's amazing. So if you do want to purchase uh, Kate Somerville, I would recommend that. I just don't because, uh, like I said, oh, people really like this. Uh, it's an acne blemish bar. It's for, I guess it's a cleansing bar, facial cleansing bar. I've just seen a lot of people say great things about it. I'm not getting it. People seem to like the black products too. I haven't I haven't tried them. Glam Glow, tests on animals. I don't buy Glam Glow. Grace and Stella is another um, Fat Fit Fun brand. So take take that with a grain of salt. You know, they're they're just launching their own lines and who knows how good they are. <laughs> uh, Neon and Co. So this company has had lots of stuff available in our sales. They had this Gaia line, which I think that this is incorrect right here. It says Gaia by Neon & Co. I don't think that this is their Gaia line. I think that this is just Neon & Co. Um, but these actually have some, like a handful, like 10 uh, decent reviews, all of these products. And I did have them in my cart, but I, I dumped them. Um, so, the, and the, you know, they're cruelty-free, non-toxic. They're a newer company, um, just trying to get themselves out there. Okay, Beauty Crop. Beauty Crop is an English company. Their stuff's made in China. I believe I was able to verify that they are cruelty free at some point, but I had to dig. They're not on my reference guide that I showed you earlier. I don't know anything about that palette though. Here's more beauty crop. Um, so they have a handful of stuff. I did buy uh, one of their liquid lipstick sets and it was more like five lip glosses, and I did a whole dedicated video with swatches and a wear test, and it's they're, they were lip glosses, the ones that I got. These might be actual lipsticks, though. Looks like these are lipsticks. Yeah, those look less glossy, more lipsticky. Um, 
anyway, so here's another hair dryer. I remember considering getting it when I was new, and this is why I recommend looking elsewhere for tools. I was on the hunt for a hair dryer. I couldn't find any reviews about this, and I tormented myself trying to decide if I want it, but ultimately, no reviews. I didn't get it, and now I just kind of use that as a rule of thumb. Like, you can't find anything, just dump it from your cart and look elsewhere um, for that item or a, an item like that. And I ended up getting the T3 Featherweight from Costco for $75. Um, I don't know. Touch and Soul, they did that no more, no problem, problem primer that was pretty popular a while ago, I remember. Um, Living Proof, uh, I have seen some of their stuff at TJ Maxx. This isn't that much of a discount. Living Proof's owned by Unilever, so as much as I hate it because I love the Living Proof line, I think they make great, great products, but they're owned by Unilever, so I can all, I well, not can't buy them anymore, but I won't buy them any longer. Um, but their stuff's good. So if you're going to try Living Proof and you can get eight bucks off of each, you can try it here if you have that kind of money. Uh, the the frustrating thing is that they used to have living proof in these sales for dirt cheap, like a, a crazy discounts. I think I got um, their Restore hair mask for like $9 and it's it's something like $48 and it, it's the best hair mask I've ever used. Um, okay, so Babe Lash, so this is a conditioner. This is not to be confused with the one that actually helps your lashes grow. I, there were a couple people that said that they liked this stuff in the forum. So these PMD, I, I don't know, there are YouTube videos of people using these PMD uh, products, these uh, electronic PMD products. You can check those out. Summer and Rose is a FabFitFun line. So again, kind of like with um, Ish. Um... Let's see. Oh, African Botanics. I did see a couple people say they like their stuff. They had a, a pain, like a gel that was for pain that people just loved. And it was available several sales in a row. And I kept asking my husband if he wanted it because he has back pain. And he kept saying no. But um, anyway, so people people like this stuff on the, on the forum. Um, Ovation, no one's talking about that on the forum. And I did not look it up. 111 Skin, that's a really high-end line in England, and it's one of those lines that was created by a, a doctor, and he's Greek, and he created it in England, and, you know, their website talks about how the movie stars love using their products, so I don't know how much that really sells me. Um, I haven't used any of their products, though, so. Here's Nassif MD. This is the guy from that TV show, Botched. And I remember seeing this, and it's a serum, and it is loaded. The, the first, these first, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. Six ingredients are silicones. Oh, gosh, and I wonder if this is palm oil. I, um, I try not to use silicones in my skincare at all. I generally actually not try not to. I don't use silicones in my skincare at all. So I wouldn't use this unless you're using it in the morning and you're you're doubling it as a primer. Um, uh, that Yeah, it has palm oil in it too, which palm oil is ter the practices around palm oil are pretty sad and depressing. So this is just a product that I would not recommend. <laughs> This looks like a really cute line of products. I was curious about it. They're newer, they're non-toxic, all that good stuff. So made in Canada. I was, But again, I, I almost got this as a cleanser and I'm just striking out on cleansers. So I'm going with the one I know because I need cleanser. Um, Billion Dollar Beauty, they also make the Billion Dollar Brow stuff. CauseRx Toner. So uh, this, I could I found one blog review about it. This is a Korean beauty product. And um, she basically said it was okay, but, uh, oh gosh, what did she say? Uh, she said it wasn't as moisturizing as she would like it to be. Um, this looks like some sort of high-end company. That's I looked at their website, and I 
it, I didn't connect with it, so I didn't buy it. This people are really into, really excited about. Um, it is a morning serum, and that is because I remember looking at the ingredients and thinking, oh, they have silicones, and I thought, oh, if it's a morning serum, that would probably work wonderfully doubled as a primer, and then it says it here, oh, honey, you need this two-in-one primer and serum. So if you're looking for something like that, people are really into this product more hair tools. I don't know anything about NCLA. This I looked up. It's got, I don't think it had any reviews actually. Look this one up on their website. Uh, people are saying, is this worth it? The hair turban is a much loved product in these sales, but um, the people that have gotten the other hair products, they say that, that they kind of they can't say that they're doing anything for their hair. So if you really want the hair turban, you can get this, but don't get it for the other products. Babe Lash. This is the one that makes your eyelashes grow. Go ahead. There are some side effects. Like there's one really interesting side effect that makes me not want to use this, which is if you have blue eyes, it could potentially turn them brown. Not that I think anything is wrong with brown eyes. I just have always known, known that I had blue, well, that my eyes are green actually, but anyway. <laughs> Um, so this is another Babe Lash product. I don't buy uh, fragrances um, just online because I can't smell them. I, it's too much of a gamble for me and I actually don't wear perfume. Everything is so scented. I don't wear perfume so um, I don't know. Erno Laszlo was cruelty free up until 2017 and then they started selling in China so I don't buy that, that stuff. Clay is a nice non-toxic cruelty-free line if you like that kind of stuff. Corez is uh, cruelty-free. Uh, I would run their ingredients through the ingredient checker. I think that I remember seeing that this one had a formaldehyde releaser when I got it. Yeah, this is a formaldehyde releaser right here. So run their stuff through an ingredient checker if you're interested in Corez stuff, but I do believe they're cruelty-free. Uh, here's the T3. If you want a straightening, if you want a straightener, they probably have this at Costco. I saw it at Costco. Um, and then you can return it if you don't like it. I got this, and because I struck out on cleansers lately, I am using it because it's the best of the worst that I have right now. But I don't like it very much. It has, it's black, so, so to use it over the sink is awkward and you're at risk of staining things. And then, um, and then uh, I just don't really like the way it smells. It has this coconutty smell, but it's almost like Malibu rum kind of, and I just don't like the smell. And I used it, I started using it before I was pregnant too, so it's not that I'm just pregnant. <laughs> um, but I don't, I don't care for the smell so much. But that said, Terra Mare overall is a really lovely high-end skincare line. Uh, my husband talked me out of getting this because we have a shave gel that we really like, but it's grown alchemist, so I had a little difficulty there. Um, I am not getting anything like this because I just can't get into the powder uh, powder um, skincare stuff. I haven't been able to jump on board with that, so I'm not interested in it. Butanique, this had really good reviews if you want a brow gel. Um, Elemis. I wanted to get something from Elemis, but it's all just too expensive. I don't need it. I, I'm not going to do it. Uh, people are saying good things about the Audacite. Wish is, I like their line. Um, they are into being non-toxic and cruelty-free. I don't know anything about all the stuff that's available, though. A Way of Will, I believe that's a Canadian company. They have, I haven't seen them in the sales in a while. Um, people aren't talking about this much. People are very excited about this lotion. Uh, this is a Korean, Korean skincare. Yeah, yeah. And it has good reviews, the masks. I don't, I as a rule don't get sheet masks because of the waste. Um, this has some decent reviews. Uh, Emu Aid. They used emu oil in their other products, but I don't think this one, no, this one doesn't have emu oil in it. So if you're vegan, you want to look out for emu oil in, brand, in products. The Sinage stuff. So this one had really good reviews. Um, yeah, if people don't talk about the Sinage stuff. I've seen it a lot in sales. I'm intrigued by it, but I've never gotten anything from them. Uh, bath bombs. I don't typically do bath bombs mainly because I don't have a nice bath. 
Uh, here are sheet masks. I mentioned I don't get sheet masks. Mint Para, that's a newer company, um, a few years old, woman owned. Um, Bios Apothecary, can't find a lot of product, uh, reviews on their products. I couldn't, at least, on their website. This works. I have seen people really like like their pillow spray, but there are varied reviews on the products in um, this sale, so their website does have reviews. Uh, Hip Dot, this looked like it was probably, it is probably an awesome palette. I just don't need a palette, but it looked, I, where did I see that? I saw reviews or a YouTube video or something, it looked great. They're Hip Dot, I'd never heard of them before. Here's the Namaste stuff. So the Namaste anti-aging moisturizer, I have also tried this one. It's not quite as quite as moisturizing as I'd like for my skin. I have dry skin though. So, but other than that, it is a non-toxic, cruelty-free, um, awesome, unscented. And yeah, if you have a uh, combo or oily skin, you might really love that. And it's $5. It's great. Um, uh, some people were saying that you can find skin fridges on Amazon for way cheaper and you can return. People are saying this is the best lip scrub that they have ever, ever used. And it has amazing reviews on Ulta or Sephora, whichever one it's sold at. I I have a Wish lip scrub that I love that I have been using and is still good. It's still going. So I am going to not get it. But um, And then somebody else is talking about how she makes her own lip scrub. You don't need to buy it. And that's true. Um, I, would, I don't know that I would get Isaac Mizrahi brushes. I know, I've never heard anyone rave about Isaac Mizrahi brushes, but I'm not that well versed, so don't forget I said that. Um, these have good reviews. I just don't need more lip lip glosses. I don't tend to get clothing items, so I'm gonna breeze past these. These are Summer and Rose. A lot of them. That's Fab Fit Fun's brand. I don't tend to get clothing. I did get a pea coat the last sale. And it worked out. I made a video where I tried it on for you if you want to take a look at that. Um, I don't tend to get jewelry either because uh, the, the material can be really hit and miss if you're interested in jewelry. Do take a look at what it says it's made out of, like 14 karat gold with uh, gold plated brass. I would steer clear of that for myself. So be careful about the materials the jewelry is made out of. Um, I don't tend to get sunglasses because they're usually pricey. So this kind of stuff, I I don't I don't get. I'd rather look elsewhere for stuff like this than a FabFitFun sale. You can get better deals on clothes. You can I I feel I really I'm a fan of thread up uh, goodie boxes. So I really like thread up. So this is all clothing, and then I also I feel like with um the you know these things look great, but I feel like you can find wonderful stuff like this at Marshalls and Ross. So I don't get that stuff either. Um, candles, again, if anything's scented, I'd rather be able to smell it before I buy it. People really do like the laundress stuff. Um, the people that have gotten it do like it. I remember when it first showed up, people were going bonkers. Um, and, but no, it's and it, it was generally out of stock. Now they're not really flying off the shelves. Again, like people are kind of really tearing their hair out about whether or not they should get this cute teapot and these cute mugs and they're very very cute but it's so strange what the spell of these Fab Fit Fun sales puts on us because seriously if you saw that in TJ Maxx or Ross you'd probably pick it up and think oh that's cute and put it back down and move on right but for some reason in these sales <laughs> we feel like we need to hurry up and jump on it and get it um this is looks really I almost got that but then I was like I don't need that <laughs> um, I have one of these uh, eye masks it's there are probably better feeling eye masks to use out there people love the pillowcases so if you're considering getting that I'm not because I would like to feel my pillowcases I I don't or, or get them on Amazon where I can return if I don't like the way they feel um, let's see the aprons are cute. Uh, I, I these the neat thing about these is the the bottom of these are magnetic, so you can stick them on your fridge. <laughs> That's pretty much all I know about that. Electronics and things like that you can't return. You can't return with Amazon, so buy at your own risk. If something's faulty, you might have to get into an annoying back and forth with customer service. I don't get couches. 
I don't get it. Here's kind of the part of the sale where I start to just really scroll and I don't have much to say. Oh, I can say that I have some LSTN wireless headphones from this brand and they work well. I like them. Um, they do work well. I got them from a cause box. I got them in a cause box box. Um, I've heard that you can find this uh, trendy thing for cheaper elsewhere. I don't know. I can't. I don't have anything to say about any of the rest of this stuff. Uh, well, no. I mean, I will have more to say, but this stuff, I don't have anything to say about it. Um, okay, here's the out of stock stuff. So there's a few out of stock bundles: more milk makeup, more tart. I talked about the Julep. Also, that's the brand that's uh, available at Target now and seems okay. Um, Freck, Immunicology, I talked about that line. That's a really lovely, high-end, sustainable vegan line. The Oribe dry shampoo. This is the dry shampoo that did nothing for me. Nothing for me. So I will never get it again. I actually have it in my pile to donate to the women's shelter right now. It just absolutely doesn't work for me. Um, I was curious about this Petrology uh, milk peel, but again, I don't use sheet masks. I try not to use sheet masks because of the waste involved. Um, I, you know, r Co. does a lot of short videos on YouTube for each of their products. I watched a couple of short videos on this one and I didn't like the, the way their hair turned out. Um, and it looks like it's more geared for straight hair. Uh, so if you're curious about their products, I should have mentioned that too, is uh, check out YouTube for um, some of their reviews. Now, let's see. People are actually saying that this Grace and Stella shampoo and conditioner is pretty good. I wouldn't try it. I wouldn't try it, but on the forum, people are, people are saying it's good. I uh, Oh, this I got this Ciate London setting powder, and I used it in a Get Ready With Me video, and I don't know too much about foundations and powders, but I thought that it did a nice job. So I liked it, and it's $5. Spring for it. Let's get it. Um, here's more Nassif MD. Not interested in his stuff. This looks like a cute little gift, but I don't... I don't know. This it says it's a face roller, so I don't. I wonder what that's made of. It's not like a jade roller. Um, billion dollar beauty, billion dollar brows, same company. More. Oh, oh. Um, so I had their sleeping mask in this scent, and my husband kindly asked me not to wear it anymore. He did not like the way it smelled. Um, here's the T3 featherweight that I've talked about. Check Costco if you're a Costco member. It might be on sale for $75 if you're interested in getting that. This, someone loaded a picture and the face mask is like huge. It, her face took up like 75% of it and the, it was just really big. Uh, here's more Grown Alchemist. It's a very beloved product um, or, or line of products in these sales. Uh, people are excited about this lotion. Jay June, here's uh, this. They had sheet masks also that I it said had good reviews. This is K-Beauty. <laughs> There's more Sarah Hap uh, lip scrubs. You know, they have really cute... They, oh, if you have the money and you want these, get them. <laughs> They're so cute. These are really, really cute, these socks. So now I'm just kind of... I don't... I don't... Let me see if I have anything useful to say. No, I'm done. That's everything with the sale. Now I'm going to show you my customizations. My customizations. What did I do here? Um, let's get over here. Um, Add-ons in my box. Customize. Now, this isn't necessarily final either, but I will show you quickly what I'm getting. So this is the first customization. I'm getting the blanket. I Again, Kate Somerville, owned by Estee Lauder, tests on animals, R&Co. I used their moisturizing uh, shampoo and conditioner. I did not like the smell. People have said that this has a pretty strong smell as well. If you can, I would suggest trying to seek it out and smelling it to see if you like it. Um, this looks like a lovely can candle. I don't get things that are scented unless I smell them. Um, and then if you live in a cold place, you could get that. I'm getting the blanket. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get, I forgot that I chose this as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this. I don't know if the eyelash conditioners work, but I've been curious about it. 
I'm getting the slippers. So this is the Erno Laszlo started selling in China in 2017. So I'm not interested in getting that because that means this, the products are subject to animal testing. And I already have a nice shower speaker, so I don't need that. Now here, oh, here is where I'm getting the Rodeo Soft Focus Glow Drops. I think that um, highlighting and all of that is really, really super pretty. I've been wanting to try Rodeo, and I am excited to try it this way. I am not interested in any of the other stuff. Simply just, I mean, this this bracelet's cute, but I don't need to add it for fifteen for ten dollars. And I don't wear falsies really ever, except for in my Get Ready with Me's. I did. I put on falsies for the first time ever in my last Get Ready with Me. Um, and then again, I don't do masks because I, I, I want to help try to reduce waste in what I use. Um, now this one, I'm excited to see Luxme. I've never used it. I just, I was very intrigued. They were in one sale once and I was very intrigued, didn't get it. And I decided here is my chance. I'm going to try this out. I believe that this is just a moisturizing balm. I probably won't get the planner because... Unless I can think of somebody that needs a present in January, I can't bring, I can't get myself to use written planners. And then I think this is a really cute little crossbody. I have one like it in blue. Um, next, I didn't really want any of these, but I thought that this would be good for when I do my get ready with me. It's to help. Uh, get uh, your brushes, like excess product off your brushes when you want to transition between colors. So those are my choices so far. Uh, again, if you have any thoughts, please share them below in the comments and start a conversation. I am curious to hear what you think as well. Please feel free to disagree with anything that I said. I um, would love to hear it. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.